Hey guys, Dan here, and today we're going to be doing a Nintendo 3DS slash 2DS video. I'm going to tell you why you want to soft mod this. Alright, so the first reason why you're going to want to soft mod your 2DS or 3DS or new 2DS or 3DS, I'm going to be saying 3DS for everything, but know that I'm mainly talking about the new line, but this also works for the regular 3DS line. Um, the first advantage is uh, you can do save backups and, and uh, wipes. Uh, now, you might be wondering, well, why do I want to do this? Well, if you play Pokemon a lot, you might have a save file that you have some type of attachment to, but you also want to start a new game. So you, you might be sitting there thinking like, oh, well, I don't really want to get rid of my own file. I did so much on it. I have so many memories with it, but I want to play the game again. Um, there you go. You can. Ha it's almost like having multiple save slots on your Nintendo DS games. It's really easy. You can save, back them up, rename them, and uh, just wipe your save file and start all over again. On top of that, um, if cert for like well, one game in particular that I can that I do know of, Pokemon Rancher or Pokemon Ranger, um, you could get a Manaphy from it, but you can only get one per cartridge, even if you made a new save file on that game. Well, with custom firmware and save manipulation you can use that software to completely wipe the save file of that cartridge, making it think that it has never given out a mana feed before, and now you can breathe new life into a Pokemon Ranger game that some people might think is garbage because they, well, the mana feed's already gotten off of it, I can't use it for anything else. Now, the second thing that I really do like about the um, custom firmware on the uh, 3DS line is your ability to put ROMs onto it. Now, I don't mean just fill it up with emulators and play it on there. Yeah, this could do that. But on top of that, um, certain Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance games, and um, even your current DS and 3DS games, you can take ROMs from those and install them on here like they're a virtual console title. They'll be on your home screen, they'll have their own icon. It'll look pretty legit, it won't look that janky. Now, um, one thing that I'd like to mention on top of getting what are known as CIA files, so those are the virtual console files to install on your, D, or on your 3DS, is you can also, with custom firmware and booting into God, 9, God Mode 9, um, for your DS and 3DS games, you can actually rip the ROMs right off of them, your own collection, I'm not talking about doing anything illegal, rip the ROMs right off of them, install them onto your DS, and now you don't have to worry about swapping in and out cartridges or anything like that. It's all installed on your 3DS. Um, and that goes with anything. Whenever I talk about ROMs, go rip your own ROMs. Um, I'm gonna be doing an entire series on how to rip your own ROMs from video games. And you don't, it's not that hard, and it stops you from doing illegal things. You know, if you, I like owning games, but there is, something that's very very convenient about having a digital title now it's probably gonna be better off for you to just rip your own roms instead of just being like well i bought the game i got some sketchy rom off some sketchy website it's not that hard the hardware is not that expensive and sometimes the console itself is the hardware that you need to rip the rom off i know that goes for wii games 3ds games and um gamecube games you and uh, Dreamcast games for that matter. You can use the console to rip the games. Um, anyway, moving on, bit of a tangent there. The next thing that you can do with custom firmware on your 3DS, and whenever I say custom firmware, I mean modding. Um, whenever you mod a 3DS, you're not actually putting a new chip in here or anything like that, like the PS1 is. It's all done with software. Um, is You can stream your gameplay from your device to your computer so, so you can um, capture it, or make videos and other things like that. Now, as you can see in this video, I'm not overlaying any gameplay footage or anything like that. That's because with that new update that came out a couple months ago, it's kind of a little broken right now and hopefully someone fixes it so that you can actually do it again. But that was a nice advantage of soft modding, a, uh, especially a console in the new line, is because you know it has a little bit more CPUs, you could stream gameplay to your computer and capture it. Um, you no know, buying expensive capture cards or anything like that. And hopefully it's something that does get fixed hopefully soon. For right now it's bugged, but 
hopefully it comes back and that would be a great feature to bring back to custom firmware. Okay, moving on after that, great things that you can do with custom firmware is, well, of course, the whole point of it, you can run unassigned code, homebrew. People make homebrew games all the time. You can go and play them. Uh, on top of that, um, there's just a bunch of applications and save editors and the list just goes on and on and on of the things that the homebrew community has made for the new 3DS line. Um, and then lastly, it's not something that I specifically do, but I know people do love it as a feature. And that is you can put custom home screens on here. For me, I just pick a color and run with it as my home screen, but some people like to customize. So there's a bunch of design options on here. I think I know what the name of the app is. I'm gonna look it up right here. I think it's like, I know it starts with an A, but you can load up your own custom things and you know, uh, let me go see what it's called. It is called Animani. Don't know the name of it. Okay, okay, don't hurt yourself. But that is the software that you would use to capture it. Um, and basically, that's it. Um, I'm probably going to be doing a video showing you how to dump your ROMs onto your um, 3DS and how to you know, dump your cartridges and everything like that. That's going to be another series that's probably going to be coming out in like a month or two. Um, I just want to get a couple more things together before I start doing that. But uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.